Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, and I'm gonna show you how to get a great workout with everyday household items. That's right, you don't need a gym, just creativity and passion. So let's get started. So as you see here, the equipment that we're gonna be using today is a luggage bag, a couple of books, some water jugs, a book bag, and a gym bag. Now this first workout, we're gonna start off using the water jugs by doing some basic bicep curls. Now the key is that we wanna do these both at the same time because it's gonna be a little bit tougher than doing an alternating curls. And the main thing that you wanna do is squeeze throughout the movement. Squeeze those biceps. Come to full extension at the bottom and squeeze. And we wanna do about 10 to 15 reps when it comes to doing these curls and I would recommend doing three sets of those. Now we're going to hold it right here so that way we can focus on good technique. Now the main thing that you want to do is make sure that you keep your back contracted and your abs contracted throughout the movement and that way you can remain stable and focus on the biceps. Now our next exercise is going to be the dip. So dips can be performed on any type of flat surface that's going to give you some space for your body to dip down. So you can do a coffee table, kitchen counter, pretty much any surface. And you're going to put your hands behind and you're going to dip down and squeeze your triceps, the back of your arms. You want to make sure when you come to the top that you want to lock those elbows in place and squeeze the triceps. That is very important in this movement. It's all about the details. You have to squeeze right there at the top. So with this next exercise, we're going to be working on our shoulders. So we're going to grab those water jugs and we're going to make sure that we do a side lateral raise to the side and a front lateral raise to the front. So you're gonna extend those arms as wide as possible by also keeping your back straight and contracting your abs. Form is very important here. Make sure you go wide and forward. Try to limit your break in between the motion. So we're going to freeze it right here and I'm going to give you some tips on some proper technique. So now you want to make sure that you extend those arms as wide as possible but also contract your back at the top where those traps are. So that way you can make sure you can get a back exercise in here also with your shoulders. It's very important that you squeeze those traps right there at the top. And when I say traps, that's that upper portion of your back right below your neck. Now for our next exercise, we're going to use some water jugs and we're going to put it inside our gym bag for some added weight. So this exercise is going to work out your back. This is the upright row using a gym bag. So you're going to get as wide as possible, keep those elbows in, and you're going to pull and squeeze that back. Squeeze that back. Oh yeah, we're feeling the burn now. So we're going to pause here for a second and talk about position. So what you want to do is make sure that you're slightly bent forward. You want to make sure that you pull your elbows to your back as much as possible and squeeze. And you want to make sure you do it slow and controlled. So on this next exercise, it's going to require us to use our travel roller bag. And what we're going to do is load it up 
with some books. You can use your favorite books or some ones you intend on reading. One of my favorite books is going to be this one right here, which is called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And while we're at it, I'll just throw in those water jugs just to make it a little bit more difficult for those heavy lifters out there. Now with this next exercise, we're going to be working out your chest by laying flat on your back and pushing that suitcase up. Now you want to come all the way down when your elbows touch the floor and push all the way up and squeeze your chest at the top of that movement. Up and down. Squeeze. Now depending on the weight, I would adjust it so you do about 10 to 12 reps and 3 sets. And this is going to give you a great workout for your chest. Now it's time to work out our lower body. Time to work out those legs. So we're going to take those water jugs and we're going to do some lunges with them. So you're going to grab them by your side, going to make sure that your back is contracted and you want to step forward as much as possible. So right here we're going to hold for a little bit and we're going to make sure that we focus on stepping forward as much as possible. And then when you come back up, you want to make sure that you push off of that lead leg. Keep in mind to keep your back contracted and those water jugs just dangling down from your arms. You want to make sure that you push up with only your legs. Now on this next exercise, it's going to require our book bag and we're going to go ahead and load it up with our favorite books. Or if you want to add a little bit more difficulty to it, you can load it up with a water jug. Now it's time to strap on that backpack and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your feet are flat against the ground. And you're going to squat down to the ground and put your arms forward so you can remain stable throughout the motion. And you want to make sure that you come low to your legs are parallel, making a 90 degrees angle between your knees and your thighs. Well, this concludes our home workout for today using only household items. So as you see, you can get a great workout from home, whether you're in quarantine or not. So just make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And that way you're the first one to get a notification when I put out a new video. Thank you for watching.